Okay, so I purchased these on Amazon. I will link it below. And these are six by six papers. If you want to make those a slimline cards and you want to make tons of them because you're having a sale soon or you just need some cards, um, six by six paper is absolutely amazing to make these slim cards. Um, what I did is I purchased this and then I just went for a little trip at the Dollar Tree and I just went ahead and grabbed some of their beautiful stickers and I'm just going to match it up to the paper and in this particular case I am needing get well soon cards so I am going to grab I had it believe me I did right here I particularly love this get well soon stamp um I wish it would separate it a little bit but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and go with it because um, I'm just gonna put this on white paper cut it out and then have it ready to go and then all I'm gonna need is to do assembly so right now what I'm doing is I'm getting things ready to assemble my cards once that is done and you start assembling it is so easy and so fast so I'm doing get well soon slim cards all right this particular paper was not attached or anything so they were all loose um, and don't throw these away because they make great little flags so I am going to keep this so basically I am going to use every stinking piece of this paper I'm actually even going to use the top of this <laughs> I'm using everything um, I, I cannot wait to link these below and it is a nice cardstock perfect for card making so let's get started so like I was saying these are super easy you're folding them into basically you can use your um, I totally forgot now <laughs> anyways you can use your your scoreboard there we go to uh, score them if you want to or you can just go ahead and make sure that they're all even and fold your cards so here, because even the pattern, it, it goes on both sides. The only one that I was looking at that might be upside down is this one, but it doesn't matter. I, I don't think it'll matter upside down or not. So um, I am just actually using a pen to mark them real quick because I'm just going to fold them. So to some music, I'm just going to fold my cards.
you can see, in no time at all, I have folded myself 12 slim line cards. I think you're gonna see in the video, I'm actually showing direction, like here, it'll be perfect to put something here, but look how the back is gorgeous on that one. So it was just the only one that is this one. It'll be a little bit upside down in the back, but I don't think it matters that much. And you just gotta fold your cards the way you want them. I think the rest of them are pretty cool looking. And I will have 12 cards within half an hour, even not that, because I'm a little picky. Sometimes I like to pick different things to put on here. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get all of my stamping done, everything else. I am using the regular envelopes, and I'm gonna show you, they're a little, okay. Let me get this out. So there are they are a little bit bigger than the envelope but i don't think it matters i would definitely do a something right here i'm going to work on that in a little bit um this is where this might come in andy to just do a little something i'm not quite sure yet but i'm going to go ahead and prep everything and show you the assembly line so to do my stamping i am using these blank index card you get a, a, a hundred of these which is so much cheaper than buying cardstock this is a pretty thick paper to do these in so i'm going to cut 12 of these this is my stamp so when i'm stamping it i'm actually going to stamp it in the center so that way if i want to make little flags or do something else with it i can so i'm going to keep cutting and then keep assembling So I'm letting the ink dry on the get well, you can't see them all, but they're there. I'm letting the ink dry on those. And now what I did is I went ahead and cut that one strip. And this is the top part. Now there is advertising right there, but I think I might be able to hide that. So I'm gonna put this here. And I am going to start assembling my cards. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to pretty much make all of these the same kind of way pretty much and I'm going to um, start with the sentiment so I these are too big and I'm going to use glue as well as um, my tape so I need some more scissors there they are So for the colors on this one, I can actually bring some of the green and all kinds of colors in this one. Even this color works well, the blue works well, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I am going to just and make a tail out of it. on both ends so I think what I'm going to do is on all of them is I'll, I want the sentiment here and I'll put some flowers around there but I want to lift this sentiment so I purchased this um, I think it was 50% off when I bought it. It's double-sided foam tape. This makes it easier when you have a flat sentiment like that. And the cardstock is not as heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. And I'm going to get all of my sentiment ready like this. So I have my sentiment all um, ready. I have cut my little pieces. Now I am looking for some color to add to the cards. And I am going to use my big uh, three and a half inch scallion. And I am just going to cut some paper in almost in half. To decorate so what I do is I always put it in here and try to have it as even as I can 
and I, I don't think this is gonna cut this paper. No, this paper's too soft for this. Okay, we'll switch it. Let's see if this paper will do. Yes. There it is. You just want a piece like this. Don't throw these away because you can always reuse all the paper. I'm going to try to cut this a little faster. Maybe it'll work. Nope. It's for some reason, it is not cutting this paper at all. So I'm going to cut a couple of these out. Nope. These papers are not cutting unless they are super thick. And I'm going to keep looking for some scrap to do this with and I'll keep going after. Okay, so I went ahead and cut some of half of these um, medallions and I have my first card and we're going to get started on this first card. Actually, put this one back, clean up around the area so we can see what we're doing. I also like to reflip my cards back over so I can work on them. And I'm going to pick whatever color I think is going to work best there. Oh, I love that, but I don't know. I think I want to pull a purple in here. Yeah. I'm going to add a purple here, like so. And then I'm going to add the Get Well Soon here, sentiment here. And then I'm going to add some of the flowers. So I'm going to use my glue. And I'm gonna oops, I'm gonna add my sentiment to this part. I have to show you so I get it perfectly. And you don't want to put it too high so you can Hello. shut your card. Hey! When you have people in the same house, you're gonna have interruptions. So I went ahead and glued my half medallion on here. And I'm going to put all of my sentiment here. Um, for this one, I am going to use some purple and I think possibly this color or this color on this card. I think these two will match. So I'm going to take these off. And I am, what I think I'm going to do in this case is I am going to cut the tail here. I'm not loving the tail on this one like this, so I'm going to take this off and I am going to put this down. I'm going to put it right here. Then what I like to do is I love to take my flowers when they're double like this and just squeeze this underneath a little bit. Like so and I'm going to put this one here like that and here is a get well soon card ready to go um, I'm thinking I might want to do I think I want to do No, I'm going to do a purple one. I'm actually going to take another purple one and I am going to put it right here. There we go. How simple and cute are these? So to music, I'm just going to put these cards together.
in slimline cards within minutes using what I have on hand some stickers from the Dollar Tree a stamp and we have ourselves 12 beautiful get well soon cards So now we are going to go to the envelopes and see what we can do with these little pieces here that we saved and we pretty much use the entire paper pad and receive 12 cards. So let's go ahead and try to do something with the envelopes. So looking at these with the envelope, this one here has those skulls so it doesn't really work in the back sideways so I think I'm gonna leave it as is however inside the cards I can actually match and just put if I wanted to just put a little something in the cards like on this side and then it matches the card and then they can write a message here if they want to I'm not sure what I want to do with these. I could have probably included it in here, but then it wouldn't have matched. So I do kind of like the idea of putting them inside of the card like that. And that way I would use in my entire paper pad, or I can actually save these for another project. I am going to save these. It's hard. It looks so cute, I think, if I would put them inside there. Hmm. No, I am going to save them for another project. Or in front of the envelope. But then if you mail it, I don't want it to come off. Yeah. These are going to get saved. So that is all that's left of this paper pack. But they're going to get used in a different project. So now let's go ahead and put these in their bags. So I'm using the 100 clear 4x9 Cielo bag for these cards. And I'm going to show you how I'm doing them. Take a few out here. So I'm taking my cards and I'm making sure that they're flat. And I'm going to put it on the side that the flap is on. I always like to put them like this and these bags are a little bit big but i really don't care and you want to make sure when you seal it that the seal is on the other side so push them all the way in and when you take them out you'll come down with it like so And this is how I sell them at my shop. Look how stinking cute these are. So I'm gonna bag them all and we'll do another review. So I just wanted to kind of show you the envelopes that I have are the self seal envelopes and it does have a pattern uh, in the inside the envelope. So those are from Walmart. And real quick, look how super cute these cards came out and they're all packaged ready to go within 30 minutes with stickers from the Dollar Tree you just use your stamp and it could be any sentiment right here um, what I do like to do is when I price them I do like to put blank inside that way my customers know that my these cards are blank inside but look uh, stinking cute these came out colorful and just gorgeous I absolutely love them and I will link the bags below these are the same bags that I had used for my lemons but yes so I'd like to say thank you so much for watching please like comment share and subscribe and remember I bring things home I bring it with love and I bring it to life Thank you for watching and I will do each one of these again with some music.